Alright guys, so today I'll be showing you how to procedurally create the 2014 World Cup ball. And I originally got the idea from a friend, Alex Cheparev, who uh, has a Maya version of this tutorial that you can check out. It's a pretty complex shape. It has a lot of curves and a lot of uh, specific interlocking that makes up the shape. So I was able to find this photo which shows how the uh, segments are combined. There's overall six segments. If you put the six segments together in this arrangement, you can uh, have the pieces interlock and form the overall shape. So um, let's start by looking at one of these segments. If you rotate one of these pieces, they would fit in a square. I'm going to use that base shape to create uh, one segment itself. And then from there, we'll keep building this shape up until we have a ball. Alright, so uh, let's jump into Houdini and see what we can do. Alright, so I'm going to start by creating a geometry node. And um, let's go ahead and make a grid. And this will be the basis for our first uh, section. I'm just going to orient this to the plane that I'm working in. And we want it to be one unit by one unit. I just went ahead and divide this into uh, four quadrants. So let's just go ahead and delete those guys so we can work on just one part of this, uh, one quadrant of the section itself. And uh, what I want to do now is just subdivide this a little bit so I have enough divisions and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create an arc in here uh, just a shape that resembles the arc that's happening in the uh, corners of these pieces so let's go ahead and make a curve And I'm going to snap to the grid. Uh, just for that one point. And I'm going to make a shape that's something like... Uh, something similar to the shape on the uh, sections themselves. And the last point needs to snap. Let's just go and make a little adjustment here. And I'm just going to change the primitive type to NURBS so they appear a little bit smoother. I'm just going to make a slight adjustment here. And I'm just trying to match that profile that's going on here. Alright, I think that should do it. Now uh, we need more points, so I'm going to go ahead and resample this. Let's say 64 should be good. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, use the cookie sop to cut through the shape. I 
this way we have one side that looks like this and I'll du duplicate this and I'll have another side that looks like this alright let's now merge these pieces back together um, the merge is just going to create uh, it's just going to put the two pieces together like that but they're not connected physically so like if you go into select mode you can see that that's still one piece and that's a separate piece All right, next I want to duplicate this around so that we have the shape repeating across all quadrants So now we end up with a shape like this. And uh, since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and also select the uh, middle section here. And I'm just going to do a uh, fuse. So uh, this way we have. Um, we have a primitive group here being separate and we have the one in the middle that's uh, been fused together. Uh, next I want to be able to put this shape around a cube so let's go ahead and create a box I'm going to jump into the perspective And uh, let's just make sure that we have normals. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, cusp polygons and then post compute normals. So if we check, we have normals. Uh, next, I'm going to create a for loop. A for each saw, which will allow us to go through each face. So if we jump in here, we can isolate one face. And uh, what I want to do here is create uh, add node, which will delete all the points. And then I'm going to put down a point saw and have its center points per primitive. So let's just break this expression here and I'm going to type in center x, center y, and center z. And uh, now our points are in the center here. That's our geo and that's the center point. So uh, we just want one point so I'm going to go ahead and blast away all the other points. And just keep point number zero. See if we go back up now, you can see I have a point in the center of each face, and they're all pointing in the direction of the face normals. Uh, now we can go ahead and copy. We want to copy the pattern we just made onto each point and it's going to give us something like this so in a wireframe mode you can kind of see the shape that's going on uh, let me just go ahead and just show you what the curve looks like on its own actually I'm just going to duplicate the curve so you can just see the curve on its own yeah, so uh, this is the shape we're, get we're getting here. 
and um, we're gonna take this and just spherically wrap it so we can create that pattern you can see here is that uh, corner where the three points meet three sections meet up and uh, let me just uh, make this spherical so you can see it better so let me just hook this back up and uh, from here we're gonna go ahead and create uh, um, we're gonna bulge the shape so that it turns spherical let's go ahead and create a bulge and you need metal balls to do this and let's go back into the bulge and I'm going to create a magnitude of 1 and let's uncheck normalize weights and now we're going to need a sphere to additionally wrap this shape too So I'll be wrapping it to the sphere by using the uh, ray sop. So let's just take what we have here and let's set this to minimum distance. And I'll put a null down here so you can see what the shape looks like. So here it is, you know, it's not perfect yet, but you can see we just already created the uh, all the sections that build up the shape of the ball. So um, we're not done yet, we still have to fix these edges and intersections here. But uh, roughly, you know, this is generally the idea of how to procedurally build the uh, shape of the uh, 2014 ball and um, it just comes from looking at each section as a square and then figuring out where the spans should be positioned so um, I mean you could go you could, since this is procedural workflow you can still go in and make changes to the curve that we made earlier until it's like you know picture perfect but uh, for now this looks pretty close and I'm going to go ahead and keep optimizing this shape. So uh, let's go ahead and isolate just one section to work with. And I'm going to pick the one on the positive Z. So uh, now that we have those sections selected, we can go ahead and uh, just delete those, and let's delete the non-selected. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix some of the issues with this section here. Uh, you might not be able to see it completely, but um, we have to join these edges here and orient them correctly. So let's go ahead and put a facet node in here. And I'm going to uh, consolidate points. And here you can see the edge issue. We're going to go ahead and check the orient polygons option. And then post compute normals. So uh, now we have cor a correct shape with uh, correct normals. Uh, since we're here, let's go ahead and just make some UVs. So I'm going to go ahead and create a UV texture node. And let's set the UVs to be along the Z axis. You can see we have UVs. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, extrude the uh, geometry a little bit. So 
So let's just go ahead and extrude by negative 0 0.025. We just want a small extrusion here. And I'm going to go ahead and output the back of the geo. And let's just add one more division in here. So we have something to hold the edge. Because we're going to do a uh, subdivide next. So that's one segment we just created. Let's go ahead and uh, rebuild the shape again. Now that we have one segment with correct UVs, we can duplicate this shape around, uh, just like you've seen in the images before, to uh, build up the overall shape of the ball again. So I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate node here. And uh, let's see what happens here if I rotate this piece. I'm going to go negative 180. So we have the reverse side. And uh, I'm going to also put in one more copy. So now we have the ball itself, uh, we just need to create the top and bottom. These are just the side walls. So I'm going to do another cop, uh, duplicate. merge but I also need to transform this as well Just do a quick layout here. So I'm just going to lay out this node graph a little bit tidier. So I have a selection of nodes that I created earlier to um, just texture this thing. So what I did was I created uh, several nodes to uh, just group the parallel uh, sections. So this is red, this is green, and I have a blue group as well. And I just took the UV quick shade and attached a different texture to each group. And in the end you're going to get this. So uh, here's our fully modeled and textured version of the uh, 2014 World Cup ball. I'll share these project files and textures with you as well. Have a good one.